This one's going to be a little bit of a cliche, honestly, because everyone always hears this. You hear this when you're young, you hear this your whole life or whatever. But literally do what you love and you will never work a day in your life. And obviously that is not to say like you're not going to be working hard and you're not going to have obstacles. Of course you are. That's normal. But when you're doing what you love, even when there's obstacles, it's not as bad. It doesn't feel dreading. Okay, maybe sometimes, but it won't feel as bad as if you're not doing what you love like if you really sit down and think about it life is really precious like you're not gonna be here forever i'm not gonna be here forever no one is here forever so if you know you only have this life like why wouldn't you want to work towards getting what you want why wouldn't you want to value your life you don't have any excuses to work towards the thing that you want to do towards the thing that you've always dreamt towards the thing that you're like oh my gosh this would make me so happy and you just kind of hold back and hold back and hold back for xyz reasons there is no reason to hold back no don't give me that fucking excuse about money don't even give excuses to yourself like you know what i mean truly the only person that ever holds you back is yourself more than anything so when you start seeing like for one life is precious for two that you are in control of your life like you will want to work more towards what your dreams are and that is what you're supposed to be working on because if you just let a dream be a dream and you don't put in the work you're never gonna reach that dream that goal whatever that you your mindset wants and instead you're gonna be almost not always be living almost like a life of misery do you want to live that do you want to go by i don't know let's say when you're old and you're 70 80 90 and look back and be like oh my gosh why did i never do that or this or that i don't think anyone truly wants to live that so just live what you want most of our life we live working like if you really think about it even if you just had a nine to five how many hours is that that's like eight times five that's 40 hours of your life okay and that's not including the time that you have to freaking go to sleep because you need fucking sleep to function and that's not including the time that you have to actually clean or do duties at home or cook or go eat like things that you have to do because that's just life right so at the end of the day you really most of your life you're living working so why wouldn't you want to do something that is gonna fulfill you something that is gonna make you happy something that you're gonna be comfortable something in that you wake up and you're like oh my gosh i'm ready to go and do this or that oh my gosh i love this why wouldn't you want that why wouldn't you want to wake up to that why would you want to wake up to oh my god i have to go like wake up on a monday uh i don't want to wake up and go obviously if you're you're fucking not waking up just because you're a fucking lazy bitch and or guy um nah tampoco okay tampoco i'm talking about like that dread like you know if you've ever felt that dread of like oh i don't want to go like this is mentally messing my head up that's the kind i'm talking about okay like oh, i don't want to get up i'd rather just not go that's because you don't like it there you don't like the job you don't you're not enjoying what you do because when you enjoy what you do you're not gonna feel that dread you have to be able to let go of that thing that doesn't make you happy that job that doesn't make you happy and you have to go towards what you want to do and what you love and it's not easy it's not easy i know it if it was that easy everyone would be doing it but why don't you want to be that one person or those several people that actually do it you'd rather sit back and see other people do it for themselves yeah it's not gonna be easy of course nothing in life is ever gonna be easy especially when it's worth fighting for it's not gonna be easy it's just not and if you think like oh just because um i don't know you want to be your own boss it doesn't mean that there's not gonna be obstacles you know there's always gonna be obstacles in anything even in the things that you love there's gonna be obstacles and you just kind of have to live with it okay like there is nothing you can do about it you just have to be like take the good with the bad literally even though you're gonna be your own boss per se like if you're we're talking about opening a business or being your own you know contractor it doesn't matter being like your own boss okay if that is the goal if that's what you want and that's the business you want to go with there's literally going to be obstacles it's not always going to be oh pretty 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 it's gonna be hard to fucking bring something from the bottom and build it up okay it's not just gonna be like oh did i open a business and oh my gosh i have all the customers in the world and this and that obviously you have to work towards it and then as as you're working for it like you're gonna be like oh my gosh i fucking hate it here i fucking hate this but the reward will pay because those little moments that you kind of hate 
will make up for the moments that you love. And I know, okay, okay. Obviously, the biggest thing is like, how am I gonna open a business? How am I gonna stop doing what I love? How am I gonna stop doing it? How am I gonna leave my work? I need money like to survive and this and that. That's just excuses. Those are just excuses that we give each other. Anyone, even me in the past or whatever, we all give each other those excuses, okay? And that's not right. Why would you even bother giving yourself that excuse that's absurd, okay? And I probably talked about this in my other video, but literally like if, I don't know, let me think of a business idea. Let's say you want to open a clothing line, okay? And you're like, well, that's unrealistic because you have to put in money, right? You can find investors. I'm not saying it's like, oh my gosh, bliss easy. I'm just going to go ask for someone to say, invest in my business. No, you have to also put the work into it. Like, don't think things are just going to come flying to you. Don't think it's not going to be hard. But if you, if you love what you do, it's worth fighting for it. It's worth putting in the work do you know what i mean it's not worth putting in the work in something that you don't love and just getting investors is just one of the things that you could do another thing is to be saving money on the side and that's by opening savings accounts that you know are gonna give a high interest okay third thing is just doing it on the weekends until it turns so into something weekly and not and every business is gonna work like this not every um passion or dream or goal is gonna work like this but if it is one of those dreams and goals that that you can be working on it on the weekends or on your free time then do it like you don't have the excuse you know you can be on your phone scrolling and you'll just scroll and scroll scroll for hours why don't you just why don't you use those hours into your idea for example i just freaking thought about one for example let's say you want to open a restaurant i know that that takes a lot of money you need to find the location you need to find the food you need to find the waiters blah blah blah, blah right that's like the bigger idea of it right okay for one, in that idea, either you could be cooking from home and just selling the plates to to people that you know or you know, just to start off. Or if you're like, mm, no, because I know some people won't like that idea. That's fine. Not everything is for everyone, you know? Like if you're like, no, what I want is to open my restaurant and just um, have my location. Okay, that's fine too. Now hear me out. You have no excuse to be like, Oh, well, since I know I don't have the money for the restaurant, like, I'm just not going to do it. That's absurd because you could literally start drafting your menu. It does not cost you money to start drafting your menu. Write your ingredient cards. Make your menu, your restaurant. Make your logo. Make your um, theme or whatever the hell, you know. Start drafting how you want it to look. Start saving that. Start researching on how to run a restaurant, how to what you have to look out, what the regulations are in your city, in your state. Like there's so many things that you could be doing to prepare for the day that you're ready to open the restaurant. Anything is possible when you like tell yourself and you could really like even like have you ever heard the story of Starbucks? I think I think they actually opened their Starbucks through getting investors and i think so many people told them no 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 until someone finally told them yes i could be wrong don't quote me on this but do you really think that doesn't happen to a bunch of people like there is investors out here willing to give you money on your ideas you just have to know how to pitch yourself how to actually like oh don't also be like hi i'm i'm opening um uh... now i'm trying to think of another business idea okay a coffee shop let's just stay on the coffee shop i want to open a coffee shop can you invest in my idea um 10k and then they're gonna be like bitch no what uh, no like you're not telling me anything just telling someone that you you need an investor for a coffee shop does nothing because you need to pitch yourself you need to be able to tell people and be like hey this is why my idea is gonna work this is how i'm gonna be different from my competition competition this is how it's going to benefit you and da, 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 da. okay literally and if you want to do it by yourself well then try to find a bank loan and if that doesn't work then save up money point is stop giving yourself the excuses and you can do what you love no matter what and that's on period okay now this is going to be like one of the most important things that i feel like we we've all done this you cannot go into something thinking about the money okay i know you just heard literally everything but i really need you to hear this one out okay you cannot go into anything for the money because that's not really gonna be the thing that you love 
Does that make sense? Because when you go for the money, you're not going to put the effort that you would put into it as if it was what you loved. I'm going to give you my example. I could have I could have been an accountant, okay? I could have been an accountant, okay? And that is something I was going to pursue. Because I knew there was good money in it. And because I already knew enough people. And basically I would have enough people hiring me. In order to make it my living. Does that make sense? And be working for myself. And at that point I know I would have made a lot of money. Or enough money or whatever. And I could have leveled up and this and that. Okay. That sounds a little bit cocky. I'm not trying to be cocky. I'm not trying to be like uh-huh, to my horn. But. It was going to be like almost like an easy route and I know I was going to get money and it was just going to be like, ah, well, fuck it, you know, like, but the reality was that I, I didn't like it. Like, I didn't love it. I didn't. Yes, I love numbers, but I, I, I did not love it. I did not love accounting because I literally took classes. I literally saw accountants. I had to do bookkeeping for my dad's business many times. I did not love it. I hated it. I hated it. It is so much. It is so time consuming. There's too many numbers. But the money would have been good. Right? But I did not let that get away from the fact that I knew what I wanted. And I knew what I loved. And things like that. Does that make sense? So instead of going for like that. I've been doing what I love. Okay? And for one, it's the body shop that I own with someone. Because I've always loved cars. Like anything intrigues me with cars. Especially when it comes to custom work. It just does something to me. Okay. Like it makes me so happy. And it's been hard and it's been difficult. But I've loved it. And the other thing is my social media. Like I haven't gotten that far. But I enjoy it. Like I enjoy doing the videos. Even sometimes I like kind of doubt myself. And I'm like. Mm, what if I never go anywhere? But at the end of the day. I don't focus on that. Because I'm not too worried about the money like i truly enjoy this like i i enjoy it i i don't know what else to say but i enjoy it and it's like same with my fashion i've always loved fashion and i thought i didn't and then i just started doing my fashion videos on tiktok and stuff and even here i do some fashion videos and it's like i love i love what i do and and sometimes i'm not gonna say it's hard on both ends on the body shop and on social media it is but honestly i want to change it for the world like i love what i do and there's so many other things that i love and i know i'm gonna do later on and again like i'm working towards it like on the sidelines where no one can see it and i know i'm gonna make everything happen for me like i genuinely believe it and i'm always going to be working towards the things that i love because sometimes you won't re reap rewards that fast you just have to keep doing what you love and eventually it'll reap the rewards just don't do it for the money make sure you're doing it for the right things like even if like i know there's a lot of jobs out there that don't pay a lot of money don't get me wrong right but if that's something that you love you'll find a way to make more money out of that in different things okay like don't let the idea of you loving that or this or and you're like mm, but it doesn't really make enough money like it's too little like i'm never gonna go far find a way to make it go far or find a way to you know there's so many ways like even now with social media and stuff like you can go much further with the things that you love like you could even record videos about the things that you love and just talk about them Life is too precious to not be doing what you love, okay? That's all I'm saying.